Hey, wrestling fans! I'm Mike Bomani, joined as always by Lewis Carrillo. Yeah. And this week we have a special guest, Byron Davis. Yeah, and Byron. we are the Wrestling Smarks. Not even 10 seconds in, we're already laughing like crazy. Because <laughs> it was a retarded intro. Yeah! Wow. Woo! 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 He wasn't even on the show. Oh, last nope. week he was. Yeah. Well, he We missed a week. Last show. week's episode, Jesus, that was just... Too too bad we yeah. couldn't even do we couldn't even do an episode of Smarks it was too bad this week though it sucked just as bad but we couldn't miss two weeks in a row so couldn't let you guys down like that Labor Day woo so Raw starts off with a highlight reel Chris Jericho segment calling out Randy Orton and Triple H's music hits and old Triple H the comes authority. out the authority <laughs> comes out and uh. All these other ass clowns start to join him too. It's just a a plethora of of guys. Um, wh- what? Plain terrible. It what? Was, it was, <laughs> uh, like like oh. you said it to open up. It was. There's, I mean, we've had two weeks of nothing but terrible raw so far. You know, it's yeah. just been nothing. They're not giving anybody anything they want. They're shoving a lot of stuff down our throat that we'll talk about a little bit in a few. But it's not. Nothing I'm too excited about. You know? it, it's all get me over writing. It's just yeah. hack. Well, it's their off season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> um, old corporate demon Kane's out there, and Orton and Triple H and Seth Rollins. Oh. And they're all out there, and you got Jericho. In case you and, forgot, uh, he's Mr. Money in the Bank. They're bed. arguing over who should get a title <laughs> shot. Then you know. Jericho is given, you know, talking gets to him, and he says, you know, he's the six-time champion, the first ever undisputed. First ever undisputed. Yeah, yeah. first ever undisputed, and uh, the Ayatollah of Rock and <laughs> John Cena's music hits, and he's got his serious face on. Did you guys notice that? Like, yeah, it's like. All I noticed is that he's still doing steroids. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. Cena all the time when he gets mad. He's done this before. This is nothing new. Yeah, it's just his normal his normal spiel. Um, so he's out there, and then you know they have the wettest hair in the WWE. Well, <laughs> could be wettest hair because maybe Bo Dallas. They, there's a competition, but yeah. oh, but Bo um, Dallas has the wettest shirt. No, yes. no, no. Bo Ro- Dallas has the driest shirt because. Roman Reigns is just drenched. Just it's yeah. it's not fair. It's like he's, <laughs> he's in a herbal essence commercial before he comes on stage. Um, just wash his hair so just water put bowl. a hose to him in the back. Yeah, so him. he's got <laughs> get him. <'em. laughs> go, oh, go, oh, wait, man. go. Oh man. Um, yeah, out. Roman Reigns comes out. Uh, Triple H starts stumbling over his words. He already knows this is kind of. You got a new federation. Um, the WWE. Well, you got that. You got. He called. Like John Cena or Brock Lesnar, he called him Brock Cena. Like he huh. didn't say it as the match; he was saying it as a person. So I think he meant to say Brock Lesnar. I don't even know. But then, then he said the mm-hmm. WWE champion. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Triple H was drunk. Probably was. Hey, you know, he, hey. he knew it was Labor Day. You know, he was having barbecue. He had a couple of brewskis, a couple of Steve Weisers. Ah, uh, well, if so, here at Triple H. Jericho is his normal, you know, joking self, law firm of sell out, suck up, and schnoz. Yeah. Authority, which is pretty good. However, some of their useless bantering about ties and scarves. Oh, was, yeah. This was, was little, kind yeah. of unnecessary. Well, Cena, you know, I guess uh, Triple H wanted to maybe cancel the match at Night of Champions because he felt it wasn't best for business. Yeah. Uh, but Cena came out always angry. Oh, man. Mason, said it's funny, you know, like. Just when you think Cena could possibly have been down, you get two weeks in a row of which we'll we'll get just to the main event. Who fucking cares? Well, they, there's a six man tag match that gets into this because of because they're all yelling at each other. Because they're all yelling at each other. <laughs> no, um, I want a title shot. My title shot. The Cena wave of jobs is huh. about to be in. It's in like full force. We saw it with Bray Wyatt last week. Yep. Wow. And then this week, Cena was just destroying them, and then obviously Roman Reigns gets to do his finisher. But like, Cena, fucking at, was double A and attitude adjustmenting like everybody after the match. Triple H is there, and he fucking gave one to Rollins and stuff. Uh, it's yeah, going and crazy. Table. Yeah, like 
Ugh. Old Super Scene is back and stronger than ever. Um, well, his new cycle started last week, so <laughs> he should be strong for Night of Champions. Spot injection. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Night of Champions is what, three weeks from now? Uh, yeah, I think it's three weeks away. Three weeks, yeah. I hope we don't get more of this garbage for the next couple of episodes. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure what do you last expect? year's Night of Champions, if my memory serves me correct, which I'm pretty sure it does, not one title changed hands at Night of Champions last year. That was well bad. Well, Cena's not gonna not gonna win at this. You rematch. never know. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. That's WWE. Don't well. try to make sense out of it. it hopefully, Lesnar wins, but Lesnar's on the limited contract. Um, well, that's the thing uh, that I'm I'm thinking. You know, since he's on the limited contract deal, that they'll end up having Cena win. But, I mean, I'd like to see the match end and the referee stop it. Well, I'd like, no, yeah, Lesnar could be champ, and they could still go on even without yeah. him being there as champ if they book it properly. Sure, they just have Paul Heyman come out and yeah. do those little promos that they've been doing with him, you know, the past well, couple like, of years. And it could easily, know. they're creative, they could build feuds on who's now deserving of the number, like, you don't, you don't have the champion there, so now who's going to be your number one and contender? And do a feud to see who should be number exactly. one contender. That would be nice. Yeah, I'd love to see. And then you can have, like, you could possibly build up like, old Cena and Roman Reigns to have some, like, face-on-face -face match I do, or something. I do have a little uh, point then, you know, kind of Randy Orton, even though, you know, we bash on Randy Orton a couple of times throughout the show, <laughs> you know, and we'll probably bash on him again during the show. He would be excellent if he was so an Randy, upper mid-carder. He, he, yes. he is deserved a rematch, and he still hasn't got it. It's because Dolph Ziggler just won the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, no. oh man. He was the WWE World Heavyweight title. He just got his rematch since WrestleMania. This guy. Yeah, what you do? He hasn't won a match either since then, so I don't know if he really deserve if he's deserving of it. He thinks he's the only one that could beat Brock Lesnar. Honestly, at this point, I'd rather, I'd rather listen to Randy Orton than have to watch one more stupid John Cena towel. Um, more Orton, less John. Horn's <laughs> good in the room. Um, all right, so luckily the uh, the next segment is the Miz and Cesaro with Damian Mizdow. The stunt double. Stunt double um, against Dolph Ziggler and Sheamus, the Intercontinental he had a, he had Champion and the U.S. Too, oh my God, the make I was about to get to yeah, that. That geez. was <laughs> makeup artist. Um, I even have in my little notes Miz getting makeup put on during the match, asking and yes. Mizdow telling him to highlight the cheeks. Yeah, he had to accentuate the moneymaker. Yes. That's the whole point of him being out there. I'm still upset they don't have his face up on the Titan Tron anymore. Yeah, and that was bothers me. That was really that awesome. That still bothers me. That. You know, one week of doing that and then they take it away from us. Take it all away. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bad music. NXT, baby. Off the, the subject. NXT, we went to all of oh, yeah. us a couple of weeks ago. It was fantastic. This man... Screaming out first, he starts screaming out. Tell him, tell him what you're screaming. Well, it was a, a match that I didn't, you know, those. Was... No, the Spanish lady. Say what? Oh, tell. Sucia! Yes, he's screaming Sucia now. We we'll get to the best, <laughs> the the fucking highlight of the night at NXT. Besides all the awesome matches, a fatal, uh, a four-way yeah, yeah, great, great match. Main event, four-way match with Tyler Breeze, uh, Tyson Kidd, yep. Sami Zayn, and okay. Adrian Neville. With Sami Zayn winning, bonkers. Mm -hmm. The double power bomb suplex off yeah, the top was, turnbuckle. Yeah, nuts, it nuts. But a we had a couple guys. Match. There is a match where there's a couple guys wrestling that no one cared about at all. This place was dead silent. Ah. And Lewis, tell him what you did. Well, you know, it was, it, the music was playing, and then all of a sudden, right when I was, I yelled out, "I gotta take a piss." The music decides to go down, and everybody in the arena heard me say, "I have to take a piss." I recall, was, I recall, I recall the music being like, completely off before music, you decided. The match, to yell, I this was, the, we were, yeah, his, I mean, no, we're well into the match, we're into the match. He stands up on the bleacher thing we're on. He stands up. So basically, where we are, it's only four. It's four rows deep, and then bleachers that are only three rows of bleachers. So we're the we're in the back, just sitting up because we're basically at ring level. He stands up on that and announces to everyone in this arena, which was quite a few hundred people, that I have to take a piss now, and then walks down and just walks to the bathroom, and like the light is like right on him. So. Everyone saw it. Like, it was classic. We were laughing. Yeah, that was a ovation for it, too. Yes. Yeah, it was pretty funny. We had, we had <laughs> many caress him gently chants and other dumb oh. things going on. Um, JoJo. 
Jojo. Jojo. Jojo. Jojo. Jojo. Jojo. Jojo. Jojo. Jesus. Nice little Woo. tight. Woo. That dumper on her. Um. Woo. So yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. Night of Champ. Whoop. Did yeah. Miz. We had some shitty. Ma- Actually, the match was not shitty. This was a good one. Um. The following slam the pin Cesaro did. Yeah. Holy shit. Um. That was ridiculous. It was a good. Yeah. This was a good match. I, I, yes. One of the best matches of the. The ending was here. awesome too. Yeah. With uh, Damian Sando taking off the clothes, getting in his Miz attire. Ooh, I thought that was Miz. See, stun double. You didn't oh, even that was notice. Stun double. My bad. <laughs> but I mean, the beard and everything kind of. He doesn't even lay a hand on on Dolph. Dolph goes to attack him, and then the Miz comes in and hits it's him. It's a skull crushing finale. Yep. Yes. Boom. Boom. Couldn't tell which one was the stun double. I don't even know. <laughs> wow. Twins. Um, so yeah, that happens. Then uh, Bella's. Oh, can 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 we get over that, please? Yeah, what? Just that is Byron's favorite segment. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> I love nothing more than forty-five minutes combined over a three-hour show, being stupid cutaways of Bella's being retards. I don't care they're, about their acting. Is atrocious. Childhood. You don't care that Brie Bella took Nikki's boyfriend in high school? No. Hey, Brie was ready. To, put it on WWE. Brie was ready to give it, it up. Right? Nikki I didn't, wasn't. None of us care. I that didn't. guy, that guy made a made an executive's decision that Brie was an A plus player for what his yeah. plans were that night. Where oh. Nikki, Nikki was not gonna be playing any any sort of fun. So, however, did anybody catch their before the plastic surgery photos? Yes. <laughs> them noses ain't theirs. Send them back. <laughs> They this is just, atrocious. No one I, cared. I, I, Garbage. I got lucky that I, I watched it on my DVR and got to fast forward through that yeah. segment. So we did not. Um, uh, we had and I had to watch commercials. Mark ah! next, now, next was no! really awesome. Next, some special stuff happened. Mark Henry and the Big Show <laughs> versus the Wyatts, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, and uh, in the in the front row. You get the highlight of these four guys in the front row. One is the Macho Man Randy Savage. Another is Nature Boy Ric Flair. Also, Jake the Snake Roberts and the Ultimate Warrior. Excuse me. And, and um, they uh, the guy that was the Macho Man. He was awesome. He was right. fantastic. He had every mannerism, right? Like he did. Had the glasses, mannerisms. He grabbed his glasses, everything. He had taped the fingers. Taped hand. Yeah. Good job. He was. Sitting like this the whole time, like kind of back, like the macho man doing the whole. He was definitely selling it, and he had yeah. quite the following with him as well. One of the best selling of the night. Um, we, it was unreal. Um, I tweeted about it, it was hilarious. Um, the match though was still good again with the oh, yeah. 1,400 pounds of man meat that was flopping around. But yet, mankind breaks a ring from a cage. So, and those fat bastards can't break a ring at all. No, mankind broke the Spanish announce table off the hell of a cell. <laughs> Everybody I mean, breaks the Spanish announce the, table. The trajectory that he came down. Oh, well, I understand gravity. Yeah, um, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this match is good. It it does. It is kind of bittersweet because again, they. It's funny. They did the whole Mark Henry, big, well, the Big Show Mark Henry, this match two weeks ago on Raw, right? Yep. We, then we had later that night Mark Henry come out to talk to Rusev. Yep. Last week, none of that. Of none, nothing Henry was said of that. So none of that at all. There was nothing. They, just had to, they did it with Rusev match. and yeah. uh, Big Show. Yeah, no, they did another Rusev and... and uh, no, last week they did another Rusev and uh, Jack Swagger thing. Yeah. So yeah. nothing was even said. The milk. And then this week, <laughs> it's back to Rusev attacking Mark Henry, and now Mark Henry and the Big Show are done again, which sucks because they, they're playing with our fucking emo- with my I mean, fucking they, emotions. They had a, you know, he was uh, the little segment with Mark Henry and Big Show where Mark Henry's like, yo, I got to fight this, I got to defend the yeah. country, this yeah. and that. And Big Show's like, well, we talked about, you know, going to a tag team championship. So I'm thinking maybe a little dissension between them's going to end up happening and they're going to end up breaking this. Especially team. if just, he doesn't beat Rusev. That's what they just said, though, is that, that <laughs> like, it's going to be Mark Henry on his own for right now because yeah. Big Show said he would, and, you know, they're just, eh. 
So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Um, so, so next week on SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, next segment's Paul Heyman, who they do not give enough time here tonight. Um, no. He did bring up the over uh, excuse me, over compensatory. Oh, damn it, what is it? Over compensatory. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm had a few beers in that, guys. Um, behavior that the Cena fans are showing since Cena lost. Um, it was another good Heyman promo. Just didn't good. feel like Cena's not there was, listening to there reason was, or anything like that. Everybody's trying to reason with Cena, tell him not to do this, not to get in, you know, well, in over your head, and he's not listening. Just think of all the time they wasted on the Bella stuff. Could have given Heyman some more time tonight. Maybe forty-five more minutes. Yeah, no, no. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. Yeah, they, forty-five with minutes all the, of Heyman over this. And how about all the uh, the here. cuts to earlier in the night and previous week? Like they had yeah. probably like twenty minutes, legitimately like twenty minutes of like stuff, just yeah. just showing you what's already happened that you've already seen that already sucked. I mean, yeah, we we want to remember they want to keep this for kids. Like, you know, is what they're trying to do and get it, you know. You know what I always say? Fuck the kids. Boom. <laughs> Boosh. <laughs> we want good goddamn wrestling. We want good writing, and we don't get it. We don't want anything to be soft. S-A-W-F-T. Soft. NXT, baby. <laughs> Best yeah. show September. that's been going on. September 11th. Yeah. Hair versus hair. Enzo Amori. Oh, Pepe yeah. Le Pew or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sylvester Le Pew. Sylvester Le Pew. Hair versus <laughs> hair match. No, he's Pepe Le Pew now. Oh. <laughs> That's his new name. He know. does look like Macho Man Randy Savage. I even screamed that out when we were watching NXT. Yeah. And some, like, some guy in the front was like, he does look like, like yeah, people. He does. He does. People actually agreed with like, like it was great. There was, it was good times. We should have we should have recorded ourselves there. That was very yeah, funny. That should have been. Should have, yeah, that would have been awesome. Well, next time, guys, October fourth, the next October 4th, one. October fourth, we will, we will sneak of some more pros in and stuff. Or Pierce, let's buy the, the good sense. Boom. <laughs> um, back on. They can the, hear us from the bad seats. Oh, oh, no, yeah, no, the good seats, the good <laughs> no, seats are way better. <laughs> I've sat front, I've sat front row there, and it's it's so much better. That thirty right, feet row. makes a difference. That front front rows are where it's at. I got we danced with Emma back then. She was still in the NXT a year ago. Came over. It was great. She, she needs to time. go back to NXT. Boom. She hasn't even been on TV. They're done. <laughs> All right. So uh, moving forward, we get <coughs> Zach Swagger. Jack Swagger with Zeb back this week. Yeah, welcome against, back, Zeb. Against yes, the fine. man, our better than perfect because he's a jobber, Curtis Axel. <laughs> Woo! Um, the great thing, though, what do you guys think of when like Bo Dallas comes out on stage and puts three chairs there? I I don't know what I was thinking. I kind of thought he was going to have maybe Michael Cole come over and they were going to do an interview afterwards, talk about how he needed to Bo leave. I was not expecting him to pull people out of the crowd and uh, do that, but Bo Dallas is just fantastic. Right? <laughs> He's how, great. how do you feel about the little I'm a, I'm a Bo leaver. Right, right. yeah. I think we all um, he, did, he, he did good. So the little that they're gonna have, which yeah, will like, probably go into Night of Champions. The but none of them have titles. Dallas is champion of life. Yes, that's he's true. an inspirational leader. He is. He's. What about the heart on JBL gets every time? I fucking love it. <laughs> he's like, oh my god. Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas has inspired JBL. It's good wow. stuff. <laughs> what, was it during that match that JBL told? Uh, Bo Dallas, and not Bo Dallas, told uh, Michael Cole to go unplug his microphone and jump off a bridge. Yes. Because that was um, <laughs> yes. also yes. just absolutely amazing. <laughs> if, <laughs> if Michael Cole were to jump off a bridge, I would give JBL $20. <laughs> 20. Ju just a for whole fun. 20, sir. Andrew a whole 20. Jackson. Meet him. <laughs> Boom. Um... I so think yeah. a lot of people were hoping that Roman Reigns, when he threw that cinder block at Seth Rollins this week, or like one of those blocks would hit Michael Cole. God, we I could think only a be lot so of lucky. people were thinking that, hoping for that. Just anybody, they could get anybody off the street to do a better job than Michael Cole. He is just 
is no awful. motion. We were talking about like last night. There's there's no motion when they were recapping the Dean Ambrose getting hit with the tender box, and he's just like, oh man, it was dope. He's gonna be gone for a while. Like JR, like, oh my god, he killed him. That's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah like, JR would be <laughs> selling everything on how horrible that that was. You know how they, who knows if he's got brain damage, probably or something like that. Like, oh man, I was watching today. Yeah. That's true. Just, just speaking of you know, how commentating was back in the day, I was watching an old episode of Raw that this is your life episode with uh, oh, nice. Mick Foley and The Rock, and he brought out all the people. And just the commentary I was listening to on some of the matches with JR and the King was felt at home again. Yeah, it's, you know, it it's awesome. way better. It was a better product, it was, but everything about it was just better. But we don't need to get all remiss right now. Um, Curtis Axel taps to the Patriot lock. Bo Dallas and has three people that were let down by by um, Swagger, Jack Swagger and Angel, yeah. the, the Italian guy who that, failed. He's getting deported. He's getting deported be, because of Jack Swagger. Italian, I feel for I feel for this man. He is getting deported back to the motherland, and he wants to be here. He wants to be free, but Jack Swagger had to lose he twice. Free in Italy. He's got better food. Yeah, I think he's got good <laughs> pasta. Maybe Probably. What's up, pasta premature? Uh, the mother knows all about the pasta <laughs> premature. They don't have AC almost uh, anywhere in Italy. You yeah, don't need I've it when you're there, drunk though. all the time. Almost no AC. It's anywhere a beautiful in place. Yeah, 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 there's no AC. Hey. <laughs> the man's moving because he wants AC, and but he cannot. He just got denied. <laughs> he got denied air conditioning. That's what it was. He didn't want freedom. He wanted AC. Um... And then uh, that poor mom losing her son to Russia. Yeah. Yeah. He he wants to be, to be Vladimir Putin. Putin. Yeah. Oh man. Putin, Putin, Putin. Putin, what? Putin. What? what? A shit show. Yeah, it's just bad. Um, and now when you think that was bad. Uh. Oh man, just uh. WWE. They know how to fucking one to you in the fucking ball sack. Boom. This isn't even mid card, man. This taint is blow warm up card. This was uh, Adam Rose. Oh, the dark show match that was on Raw <laughs> versus Titus ah. O'Neil. <laughs> Adam Rose versus Titus O'Neil. Uh, there was the one, the go, uh, 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 and then Heath Slater going like, uh, 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 like outside. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, what? Any? You guys have any thoughts on on the this bunny match? Beat the bunny beat up oh, Heath yeah. Slater. Just, the bunny. All of it. A bunny. He Slater beat <laughs> Mr. Money in the Bank. He Slater did. Bon the bunny beat up Heath Slater. Therefore, bunny better than Money in the Bank. He should be in the Money in the Bank next year. Then. He is the Money in the Bank. What if the bunny is Dean Ambrose? <laughs> <laughs> that would never happen, but it'd be worth it. It'd be a lemon. <laughs> uh, what if it's Coco Beware? Ooh. Watch it. Coco B was, unaware. <laughs> this, yeah, this is a bad match. Uh, there's nothing really. Who cares? Uh, Adam Rose won. Ta-da! It's like paying for. But sex. he was like a dick Redeeming at the end. Quality. It was very, it was very heelish on Adam Rose. Him and the bunny beating up. He, he Slater's fucking doing nothing. He's like 20 feet away from them, and they run up and beat him up or whatever. There's no call. That is, that's uncalled for, Rose. Uncalled for. NXT had a better match. NXT yes. was bad. NXT was way better than this Raw. Their one card was better than the last two Raws. Oh my! And this we, were, we, were we were spoiled. We were spoiled at show. NXT. We were spoiled at NXT. This so, long story short, if you live in Florida and you are on the route for the NXT shows that aren't filmed in Orlando, go to NXT and stop wasting your time on Monday nights until they hire good writers. <laughs> Ten bucks. Boom. Twenty for front row. Nine ninety nine. Save yourself the penny. Man. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, that too. Can't forget that. All right. So we get the trifecta of <laughs> of wow matches with Rusev crushes. Woo woo woo. You, you know, know it. it. My boy Zach Ryder. Man, he gets some respect. Um, crushes him. <laughs> he just crushes him. I. I came in. Uh, Rush! Said, yeah. Mark Henry comes out, says he's going to eat some sandwiches, <laughs> make, 
make some a beans. couple of grape <laughs> soda. He's gonna he's gonna have some pancakes, twelve or fifteen of them, thirteen eggs. He's gonna make six steaks. And open up the international wing. I don't. Uh, in the yep, Hall of international Pain. wing in the Hall of Pain. I don't think you heard me. I think you heard some of the bacon and eggs. When yeah. I meant all of the bacon and eggs. Mark Henry is very looking very oddly shaped right now as a human being. He is he's very misproportioned. His girth is becoming almost as great as his height. <laughs> it is. So you're saying he's becoming a giant sphere. He is becoming, I, I, I he is becoming a I think by the time he's done expanding it'll be more of a cube. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, but, but but going along with Mike here, he's not really round. He's a shape, but yeah, he, it's he's not round. Shape. It's it's because his legs aren't like it's like his legs are he's like he's knock kneed. First and, of all, and he goes up, and then he is like really wide, and then he gets this little tiny head. That's yeah, the arms. size of a huge bowling ball. Yeah, it, but his body's the size of a fucking building. So a ball, a bowling ball on a building is not that big. At least a shed. <laughs> yeah, he's at least a shed. <laughs> I agree. Boom. All right, so then we get, oh, man, Stephanie and the Bellas with Paige and AJ. Don't you just wish that, like, there was another wrestling program on at this time? Even if it was TNA, as bad as it is. When a segment like this comes on, I would switch the channel to some other wrestling. You can always watch Nitro on the WWE Network. For only $9.99. Can't kick me out of the stadium for saying that. Boom. Ah, boosh. Ah. Um, yeah, there's just more wasted airtime. You're bringing people who can't talk out to do tons of talking, and they are terrible at it. A boy's sleeping over there. That's what that does. <coughs> it's exactly Nothing against what it you, does. but that's how I was during that segment. I know it's not me. Yeah, it's the yeah. segment that you talking about the segment is putting me to sleep. Eventually, they bring out their two best divas in AJ, AJ and AJ. AJ. AJ and AJ, what the hell? AJ and AJ. 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 <laughs> anyway, AJ. that's, that's them. Let's see them. They eventually AJ. come out and attempt to save it, but the first now, ten minutes of this act was so it's terrible. It's done. This is. I don't even want. I don't even want This is. It AJ sucked. AJ was even at the point where you can, if you watch her face in in that segment, you see she was like, "Why the fuck am I on?" Now, if you watch yeah. the backside, you see some sweet cheeks hanging oh, out. That was awesome. Woo! Um. God. Yes. Gold Dust versus the Uso, one of the Usos. Who cares? Whichever one, the one that doesn't have the bad leg. Yeah, the one without the bum <laughs> kicker. Um, <laughs> they tried apologizing Stardust and Gold Dust, and these dick Usos attack them. Dicks. Um, there's a heel turn you could feel here with uh, absolutely the Usos. Yeah, <laughs> shame on them for what they no, did. No, Stardust and Gold Dust. I don't know why, but whatever. Let them have the heel turn. They're still fucking awesome. There's yeah. The Usos have no characters. Like literally, these guys are nothing. They're good wrestlers, but they have nothing else. There's no. There's nothing. One thing they'll get them. in sync with their little dance. You gotta think eventually. They've never sync. done that on time, and for people who are Samoan, and that's part of your tradition, yeah. you think you would you'd be able to do it as a unit. The only thing I could say that would be hilarious. As if in Samoan tradition, it is like two people, and they are just completely off time, off time with each other. <laughs> like this is the Samoan tradition. We don't do it on time on purpose. We don't know what timing is yeah. because we I'm don't have clocks. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. All right. So yeah, that. Yeah. The, the chair shot to the injured leg was pretty sweet. It was, and it and then we got yeah. It sounded like he really sold it on the on the ring post as well. It had that good double knock, and yeah, uh, there is. He cried like a little girl and just pretty much told him to shut up. And no chair. <laughs> I don't want it next to me. Get it away. <laughs> I won't I go chair. chair. <laughs> yeah. It's more terrible book. And we already oh. talked about the main event. There was a fart in a jar. Six guys fought. One of them won. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> these were really bad raws the last two weeks. There's, it's just it sucks. I mean, are they, are they trying to make these authority look like a four horseman type deal? Well, it's not working. You know, I, <laughs> I just saw him. Kane is sorry, man. I used to be a huge fan of Kane's now, but I just don't like this whole thing. Corporate. He is. 
Yeah. He's a big guy that has no like no one nothing believable about big guy. Like when, normally if you're a big monster, so like you're that big like he is, you can at least just be a fucking giant and get away with it. When like, he goes into the Hall of Fame, I'll be the first one to give him a standing ovation for it because he did He was champion for a day. A day. <laughs> whole day. Well, no, he won the title longer too. Not the WWE then. title. Yeah. Not the WWE title. Oh, yeah. we're he talking won the WWE world title. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but I mean, he's he had great storylines, everything back in the day. But now it's just no, it doesn't make no sense what he's doing. What I don't understand is what why is that? Where's the need for corporate Kane? Like, why isn't it just the Kane? We don't need split personality Kane. I remember when he didn't even take his mask off. And someone put up like a timeline Stop online. It. I saw it of oh, yeah. Kane. His, 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 uh, his backstory. Yeah, it's he, ridiculous. He was alive. He wasn't burned. He was burned emotally. <laughs> he was dated. A, like, I'll never yeah. hear those. Stories. Oh my. It's, <laughs> geez, yeah. Kane's WWE oh, writing. It's just yes. bad. Um, His first words in WWE. I, th- I think they're prepping him for when JBL decides to quit doing his job. We're he having just, fun tonight, Michael. And pretty soon it'll be just Michael. Kane. He's not a. He doesn't become an announcer. What else is he doing these days? He wrestles <laughs> once every two months. Announcer Kane. No, he wrestles a lot. He's in wrestling. He wrestled tonight or last night. Wrestled Whatever last night. night. He wrestled. I think they wrestled the week before. He did. In the handicap they match. did. They, he did. But he's just Kane. He's Kane yeah. in it. Nothing for the Canaanites. There used to be a lot more Canaanites. The Canaanites. What you gonna do with the Canaanites? Um, I'm wild on you. So all we gotta do is cross our fingers and hope that next week's Raw does not blow the heart chunks that this week's one did. Which it it inevitably will. Will because you know what comes on next week on Monday night. Monday Foot night football. Bob. So if WWE doesn't get their act together starting next week, you're going to see a big, big, big ratings decline on that because Monday night football is back. But you, right. you both oh, man, failed right. to remember that NASCAR is on on Sunday. So Monday will still be plenty of people to watch. What the fuck is NASCAR? What's NASCAR? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'm just like, football. <laughs> Woo! We're diehard football <laughs> fans around here. Um, yeah. So yeah, that you know, there's not much to say. This fucking Ross suck, guys. You know it. We know it. We all know it. It it fucking sucked. Um. Uh, there it is. It was a fart in church. That's how. That's how over. It, it was a turd. Um. Well, you know. There's nothing more that needs to be said about this. We've given you enough time. So sign I'll, of the night. Sign, oh, yeah, we got to go. Jeez, it's just rough. Sign of the sign night. Sign of the night. I have to say it was the the Jake Snake Roberts ravishing Rick Rude, like, straight-up signs that Roman Reigns came out just because that was a feud that happened. That was awesome, and the signs were perfect. Yours, though, I, I believe. I like the sign that says um, I could be at home watching Nitro on the WWE Network for nine yeah. Which the dude that did it, I noticed on the, some forum, he got kicked out. He puts it up and they say he got kicked out for that. He got kicked out right after the, the Bella Stephanie McMahon AJ segment. He got yeah. kicked out of the well, arena because at least that. he got most of the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, match of the night, I'm gonna give it to the tag team Miz Cesaro versus Dolphin Sheamus. I think that was probably the the best. Yeah, match. I'm right there with you. That was the best um, match. Yeah, I agree. The Fucking worst segment easily was all the Bella shit. That was oh, anything to do with Bella in the past two weeks have not been great at all. I still don't understand the push. What's the push for? What's the push for? They're fighting them. And none of them have the title or it's, the talent. It's useless. It is like pissing into the wind. It is a futile task, and you're it's just fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> well. On that beautiful note. Give us your thoughts, guys. Until next time, we are the Smarks, and we thank you for watching Follow another us on Twitter. lackluster episode of Raw. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Subscribe to us on YouTube. W- like, w- comment, Smarks. tell us what you think. Join us sometime. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah.
year, but you can't click off year 